Fiction, adventure, and comics. New York Comic Con is the perfect place to explore the best in pop culture, no matter what fandom you're passionate about. This year, organizers expect about 143,000 people, which is set to pale in comparison to the 250,000 of previous years. But there's a perfectly good reason for that. We just wanted to make sure that we're bringing back the event, but we're doing it in the best and safest way possible. We also have hand sanitizer stations all around, and we have cleaning protocols in place with the Javits Center. In addition to limited capacity, masks are a must, which has certainly become a fashionable accessory to costumes this year, allowing fans to get creative and think outside the box. Well, it's an unofficial version. Um, as a Deadpool cosplayer, there's a lot of Deadpools out there, so I wanted to do a, uh, a version that maybe only I would think of or not many would think of. I came to Comic-Con in 2016 and uh, because of the pandemic I couldn't go last year so I went full throttle this year to uh, just to impress and uh, just have a good time. And you can expect a similar experience along with a few new attractions. We have gaming which is new on our show floor, console gaming. We have tabletop on level four of the Javits which is an entirely new space for us so that's really exciting as well. We have the return of our Empire stage on level five, which has some amazing content this weekend, including a Ghostbusters Afterlife from Sony, um, and Outlander is coming, which is exciting. While there's no doubt that Comic-Con is a place to be to explore your inner geek, for Mike Giordano, it's a big plus for his bottom line. It was a, a long year and a half. We certainly missed it in 2020, and super excited to be back. His thriving business, Royal Collectibles, known for its rare high-end comics from the 60s and 70s, experienced a lag in sales due to the pandemic, and he was worried about closing shop. Terrified. I've been doing this since I'm like 13 years old. I'm going on 40. I don't want to do something else at this point. I love this business. So to think that the whole thing might just collapse, super scary. And with the return of Comic-Con, he's already experienced a huge uptick in sales. But as scared as we were, Turn it right around. That's as happy as we are now that it's doing so well. And happy is the theme shared among everyone here at Comic-Con, creating memories that'll last a lifetime.